Are you ready, reaching, already reaching for your second or third cup of coffee this morning? Well, there is a new battle brewing over your morning caffeine routine. Today, National Correspondent Jenna Wolf has the details this morning. Hey, Jenna, good morning. Good morning to you. And so the Monday morning crush is on here in Midtown Manhattan. Commuters looking for that early morning cup of joe may be in for a little bit of a surprise. This was a Dunkin' Donuts on Friday. Now, 48 hours later, it's a Tim Hortons. What's a Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons is a Canadian-based chain looking to caffeinate the world and wage a little war on the U.S. coffee front. It's the must-have morning fuel. We usually drink it black. And if you like it hot, you're in luck. I'm strong, but not too strong. Our northern neighbors are turning up the heat in the morning coffee war. The quick sale at Tim Hortons is great service, quality products at affordable prices. Sounds good, but what is Tim Hortons? For Canadians, I think it's like a religion. It's just like hockey. Without Tim Hortons on every corner, I think we'd be lost. Up north, the coffee's strong, and so is business. It's the number one fast food chain in Canada with 3,000 locations. It's a pretty simple menu, really. Donuts, small meals, and yeah, loads of Joe. We serve over 2 billion cups of coffee a year. There we go. A steady U.S. invasion is now underway. This weekend in New York City, where 12 Dunkin' Donuts locations moved out, Tim Hortons headed right in. And we're actually transforming these stores in 48 hours. It's prime real estate, adding to the 500 already existing stores in 11 U.S. states. But in a saturated market where Starbucks, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, to name a few, all want your coffee cash, experts warn expansion is risky. I don't think they'll have problems getting uh, customers to try them. The question is can they keep them? Well, Tim Hortons insists the U.S. market is thirsty. We will continue to build 30 to 40 stores every year, even in tough times. And in those tough times, the appetite for something new may be bigger. Just ask New York's finest. How does it compare to other donuts you've had? I like it. You like it? You come back for more? Sure. All right, so here's the deal. Who exactly was Tim Horton? Tim Horton was a Canadian hockey player, played back in the 60s. He started this company in 1964. Unfortunately, he died 10 years later, but his vision to caffeinate the world lives on. And I got to tell you, this is a live shot for the Today Show, so you can eat these Timbits guilt-free. I've had like 60 in the way I see it. Why not 61 or like 62? There'll be none left when I get back. back to okay, you. Jenna, thanks.